There is a new church in Ahantsik built by the Greek Melkite Church of Montreal. The congregation has been waiting a long time for this. We get more now in Deborah Arbex, My Montreal. Build it, they said, and they will come. It was a dream. A dream for Montreal's Greek Melkite Catholics. The religion came here back in 1892. We wanted really to do something that would last for a long time for our community. This is the inaugural service of the St. Sauveur Cathedral in Ahuntsic, the first Melkite church ever built in Quebec. They came together in a massive fundraising effort. It's quite a feeling to, uh, to see all of this thing come together. And, uh, and again, it uh, reflects the strength of our uh, community and our people. Between the daily masses, the finishing touches continue. Staining, staining. The $9 million building is a stunning example of Byzantine architecture built to last 100 years. The stone walls form the shape of the cross. That can only be seen from above, fittingly. The domes, three of them, in keeping with the Holy Trinity, are copper. Inside is vast, with granite floors. Spectacular, but Bishop Ibrahim points out, it is the 5,000 family congregation, mostly from the Middle East, that makes the church. Priority to me is always the people of God, the people of the church that make the church. The church uh, without the people becomes like a museum. And just in case there's any confusion, the Greek Melkite church is not actually Greek. Greek is a translation of uh, room in Arabic, which uh, refers to the eastern part of the Roman Empire that uh, also became a Byzantine Empire uh, later on in history. The Melkites did once own a church on Vijay, but it was an Anglican in origin. Its altars, baptismal font, and these exquisite stained glass windows grace the cathedral now. And we did that because it's very meaningful to us to have a continuation between uh, our past and our future. A future in a house of God that unites a community in faith. Deborah Arbeck, CTV News. It happens once in every 200 million births. A British woman has given birth to identical triplets in Austria. Usually only two of three triplets are identical. So far, the three babies are doing just fine. Some cloud and showers moving back into the area. Frank joins us after the break. And later, masked gunmen open fire in a Chinese restaurant in Vancouver, killing two people.